My name is uh, Peter Paneshwe. I'm the uh, Deputy Grand Chief of the uh, Inu Nation of Labrador. And we have a population of uh, 2,200. And the global population of Inu people is about 15,000 in the world. And so uh, we represent, Mark and I represent uh, the Inu people of Labrador and we number in the 2,200. It's funny, I was thinking that, uh, that uh, the, um, when we introduce ourselves as Inu, it's so many times people assume we're Inuit. And I don't know, for, for some strange reason, God ch chose to have those names so close to, to each other, even though we're so separate people, the Inuit and the Inu. The languages are different, culture is different, but I don't know where it comes from. But I, I will say though that uh, maybe it's, a, it's, a, it's an old, uh, it's an old word, or old word. When I was in Japan several years ago, I was introduced to uh, um, Aboriginal people in the northern Japan, and they were introduced as uh, Aino, and it kind of um, shocked me, uh, surprised me that uh, that there were people called Aino, and so when I introduced myself, I said I'm, uh, I'm from the tribe of the Inu, and so there was, there was a bit of a chuckle. <coughs> so as you can see, uh, we do encourage the, uh, the Inuit to change their name. <laughs> Perhaps that's a bit too much to ask. It was funny, uh, just earlier I, I, was, I met uh, Pierre Beattie again and he doesn't remember me but I do because he was the Minister of the uh, 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 Department of National Defense 20, 20 plus years ago when we were fighting against low level flying in, in uh, Labrador and Quebec. And so he looked at me and I introduced myself and he knew I was Inu from Labrador and uh, he, said, uh, he said, you must have been this high when I was uh, the Minister of in, uh, National Defense, and uh, so I was kind of uh, intrigued that he thought I was that young. <laughs> and um, but things have changed since he's been the uh, the uh, Minister of uh, National Defense. I'm disappointed he's not here. I was I would have reminded him that things have changed, and uh, uh, politically things have changed in Labrador. At the time, the low-level flying in 1980s took place. We we're anti-development, anti-this, anti-that. We wanted to sort of uh, be on our own and we thought we didn't, I guess, feel a part of the, what was happening around the world. We sort of isolated ourselves thinking that, that we could live on, you know, in our own corner of the world. And uh, so we didn't want anything to do with uh, white people. We didn't want to do anything with Canada. We were anti-Canada. We were you know, just saw ourselves as being sovereign. And so we didn't participate in any economic development that took place in Labrador and we didn't want anything to do with it. And, uh, and so we changed that in, uh, I guess, around about 1990s, we started getting involved in with um, Canada, the province of Newfoundland, started talking to them about, um, about uh, you know, rights, and how they would, you know, would evolve in the province and in Canada. And so we've spent uh, many, many years talking about that. And so um, it's come to a point now for us, in the next couple of weeks, uh, we will be initiating the, uh, the um, provincial issues that are outstanding um, in Labrador, between the province and the Inu Nation. And the next step following that will be the, um, the federal component. And so, I think the uh, parent will be quite pleased to the, uh, to the extent of uh, our work that we've done since uh, he's been the minister. And uh, I would have also mentioned to him that, um, that we met with the National Defense last week and uh, talked about um, issues, uh, the summer project of uh, 2010 and, the, and their plans. 
and that uh, how um, how we are able to exchange information in our positions and to ensuring that they can do what they want to practice um, for world peace, particularly in this case in Afghanistan, and, and to meet our needs in terms of respecting our rights and our human rights as well, and being able to participate in economic development as it relates to national defense. He would have been quite uh, surprised, I guess, to see that uh, that level of discussion has taken place. A couple years ago, we met people from India talking about uh, aluminum smelters. And so we're, you know, we're realizing that we're not, we're not on our own, we're, we're connected. We have to be part of it if we're going to have influence on what happens in our lives. We're now, you know, uh, just completed our, uh, our, uh, the outstanding issues on the, on the Lower Churchill project. Now, if we can ever find a way to get the power to the market, the project would very quickly, you know, very quickly on, would be underway. But having said that, we'll, we'll have that, our participation in that result. And it's a very significant revenue for us in terms of uh, what our stake will be in the lower Churchill. The, um, the redress on the upper Churchill, which took place in the 60s, is also going to be, it's going to be a very significant revenue for us. The economic uh, opportunities that arise from the lower Churchill is very significant. The same way, for example, forestry that we've negotiated with the province, the mining uh, activities that you know, potentially could take place, the road the gentleman was talking about will have to go through our lands, so that has to be resolved. So there's all these opportunities, and by participating with governments and discussing our rights, it allows us to have an influence and have a say in what happens in our communities and in our, in, in, and in our lives. So we have our own boat uh, in, in uh, shrimp, Kajeshuk. Uh, um, so we're in, you know, we're in, uh, we're in many different, uh, have many different enterprises, and, uh, and that's also been, been been very good for us, and been very good learning experience for us. Again, it all, you know, uh, um, encourages our community to see the integration. For example, the, just last month we were selling uh, our catch, um, Greenland halibut, in. Um, in China, and we're selling the uh, the, uh, the heads of this fish in Vietnam. I mean, we would have never saw that ten years ago that we would be participating in those um, in those markets. But it's changing. I mean, I know that uh, the uh, the Inuit are also somehow involved in that in that enterprise because they're selling their their um, their quota to the uh, companies that are selling them. Uh, that are selling their products in those uh, markets. So I think it's 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 an exciting time for all of us, and it's an exciting time to see that you know what uh, all of us that are involved, because uh, you can see that most of the leadership that are here is relatively young, and I'm sure they're they're just as excited as I am with seeing what's happening in their communities and and our involvement in the world economies. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much.